In this video, I'll show you how to use the motion tracking feature in Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got my footage available and let's add it to the timeline. We can go back home. The lady is running and let's assume you want to maybe track some text onto her, maybe to identify her, her name and so on and so forth. It is super easy. Let's pause it and go back home again. To use the motion tracking feature, all you need to do is click on this plus icon right here, or you can also use the controls or the button or the keys, Alt and X. Once you do that, click on this. What this does is that it gives you a new box right inside here. And you can now see the motion tracking option here, and it's under the AI tools under video. So what we can do, we're going to begin by defining our box or what we want uh, the motion tracking to be applied to and let's say this is what we want it to be the lady who is running we can actually just make that particular selection once you do that you'll need to click on click to start motion track once you do this it's going to analyze motion track and you can see that it's following with the lady that's running really really awesome so we've already added our first uh, option or the first step that we need to do. What you'll notice is that now we have some new track settings here and you can hide the box or show the box. You can change the keyframes. Uh, that is if you wanted, there was a mistake. You can move them around and so on and so forth. Next up, we now have the option to link an element. You can click on this drop dropdown, uh, import from your computer, add a mosaic, whatever you want. But let's do this. Let's click OK and then we go back and add some text. Let's say we want to maybe add her name and the name follows along as she runs. So let's say we add some quick 3D text. And once we do that, double click on the text and we can actually just call it, let's call her Pam, P-A-M. And then we can resize this. Let's resize it to something like that and then place it somewhere right there on her head and then we can just adjust this to the end now we already have that what we need to do now is go back to the motion tracking again and once we're in the motion tracking option you can now click on link element and you'll see the 3d default text if you click on it what happens is that the box disappears and then when you look at your 3d text track you'll see a new kind of linking icon this one right here that means that we have linked the motion track to this particular text if we actually play this video now our text comes in and then you can see that it is tracked uh, to to the lady that is now what we'll notice is that the text is a little bit far so what we can do is that we can actually bring it to the level where we want it to be we can actually go home and play and then the text is going to be somewhere just right about where you want it to be. Super simple, super easy, and the text is following along as she runs. Simply put, that is how you can use motion tracking in Filmora 12. Super easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.